poly and lift off of every time a space rocket takes its payload into the skies a story unfolds in orbit one that we're rarely told the Boeing X-37 is one such mystery space worker whose mission remains a shrouded one we know that it comes back again and again and also completes tasks regularly but which ones exactly some see it as a platform for experimentation others as an instrument of military superiority let's find out which of these sides is closer to the truth Despite the debut of the experimental North American X-15 back in the late 1950s, space planes are still perceived by society as a new technology. However, why be surprised if to this day only six space planes have ever successfully flown into outer space and returned to the Earth's atmosphere with a safe landing? The idea of going into space was especially attractive to the U.S. Air Force, after all, the aerospace field was considered nothing more than an expansion of air operations near the Earth. Yes, pilots even then expected to fly and fight in space. Of course, aerodynamics were not applicable in such distant places but the hard vacuum was already 1000 m away. This meant that the pilots had enough work assignments and low earth orbit 60 to 300 miles above the earth. In his speech to Congress, General Thomas D. E. White, Air Force Chief of Staff in 1959, stated we foresee that we are not only going to have manned bombers and missiles but that eventually will have manned space vehicles as combat weapons in the future. Simply put, it became clear to the general that airplanes would soon turn into winged spaceships. Additionally, the range of military interests in space is almost limitless. The study of weather conditions, early warning of threats, communications, surveillance and reconnaissance, navigation are just a few examples of issues solved in the vastness of this lifeless vacuum. And before we can understand how we ended up in a timeline where the private sector began to rapidly overtake serious government-funded space projects, let's first figure out what exactly space planes are. A space plane is a vehicle capable of flying like an airplane in the atmosphere, generating lift with its wings and like a spaceship in a vacuum using rocket propulsion. However, the defining characteristic of these space planes is repeated flight, a feat better known as single stage to orbit or SST in which the craft reaches orbit from the surface of the body using only propellants and fluids and without expending tanks, engines, or other major hardware. Space plane concepts have from their inception put forward an impressive set of general requirements. This autonomous single-stage vehicle uses air-breathing engines to maneuver through the atmosphere and accelerate to satellite speed, 18,000 miles per hour, and must carry enough fuel into orbit for navigation in space or be able to acquire this fuel as it moves through orbit in the upper atmosphere. Not to mention the obvious ability of its body and electronics to withstand the extreme heat of entering the atmosphere, maneuvering through it at very high speeds, and landing with the engine at relatively low speeds while returning to the surface of the Earth at any of the airfields designated by the command post. Despite many ideas, prototypes, and experimental flights of varying degrees of success, only two space planes were put into service, the legendary Space Shuttle and the top-secret Boeing X-37B. Other nation-states also tried to launch reusable space planes. In 1988, the USSR sought to surpass or at least repeat the success of the American Space Shuttle whose first orbital space flight occurred back in 1981. The Soviets designed and launched their reusable Buran spacecraft, but in the end it was the first and only flight of the most expensive project in the history of the Red Cosmonauts. In 2007, China test launched its own reusable experimental spacecraft Shenlong or Divine Dragon. From 2020 to 2023, the Chinese have already conducted three missions with a total length of 544 days. And in the same 2023, Shenlong launched six unidentified objects emitting signals into low Earth orbit. The main enemy of space planes is that their development requires very deep pockets. That's why Europe, the USSR, and later the Russian Federation abandoned the concept, and the growing competition with SpaceX also adds fuel to the fire. It's difficult to motivate the government and investors to invest billions of dollars in expensive space plane research when a private company's doing an excellent job of making access to space as cheap as possible. However, NASA, Boeing, and the US Air Force apparently have no intentions to give up ceding all the laurels to SpaceX. They've created at least three modifications of their reusable robotic spacecraft X-37 or Orbital Test Vehicle OTV. NASA developed the concept of a small unmanned space plane in the mid-1990s while the US Air Force was planning a similar vehicle, the Space Maneuver Vehicle. 
Boeing was eventually tasked with building one X-48 test aircraft for the Air Force in partnership with their own research laboratory, which was intended only to test autonomous guidance and navigation systems. It was even designed without a propulsion system or thermal protection systems. After its first drop test in 1998, the X for A was handed over to NASA. They modified it and carried out seven more approach and landing test flights at NASA's Dryden, now Armstrong, Flight Research Center in Edwards, California. The successful completion of all tests only strengthened NASA's confidence in the need to develop two more devices, Approach Landing Test Vehicle, ALTV, Orbital Vehicle, OV. The X-37 began as a project for NASA to explore a cheaper alternative to the Space Shuttle because it was proving to be much more maintenance-intensive than originally anticipated. Not only was the device not able to reduce the cost of delivering a payload into orbit, but it also required months of recovery between flights. In 1999, the agency selected Boeing Integrated Defense System to design and develop the orbital vehicle, which was subsequently built by Boeing's California subsidiary Phantom Works. The same team previously worked on the famous stealth prototype Bird of Prey and dozens of other experimental reconnaissance vehicles. Even their logo literally screams maximum secrecy. Over the four-year production period, the X-37 ate up more than $192 million, of which NASA allocated $109 million, Boeing $67 million, with another $16 million provided by the U.S. Air Force. When funding began to wane, Boeing was able to secure a new $31 million contract under NASA's Space Launch Initiative and continue active development. However, in 2000 and for the civilian space agency decided that the unmanned space plane didn't directly support NASA's goals for exploration and forced the agency to hand over control of the X-37 project to the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, after which the program became secret due to potential military use. DARPA rolled out the test ALTV or X-37A, used as an airframe for atmospheric drop tests. It had no engines but instead an operational vehicle's payload bay doors, had a closed and reinforced upper fuselage structure allowing the X-37A to mate with the mothership. The high-altitude research jet-scaled Composites Model 318 White Knight was chosen as the test carrier. From June 2005 to September 2006, the device successfully completed all assigned tasks as part of the inspections and even managed to undergo repairs after it rolled off the runway during landing in April of 2006, receiving minor damage. In November of that same year, the U.S. Air Force began developing its modification of the X 37A from NASA, designed to stay in orbit for 270 days at a time. This version was designated the X-37B Orbital Test Vehicle, and Boeing was again chosen as the main contractor. Almost everything that's known about the activities of the X-37B project has been classified. Officially, the Air Force describes the project as an experimental test program to demonstrate technologies for a reliable, reusable, uncrewed space test platform for the U.S. Air Force. But in reality its main goals sound extremely twofold, reusable spacecraft technology and operating experiments which can be returned to Earth. These include testing of avionics, flight and navigation systems, thermal protection, insulation, thrust and systems responsible for re-entry. Of course, many did not believe in such good intentions. Therefore, from the moment of the first launch of OTVs 1 in April 2010 to this day, the media from time to time has been covered by waves of assumptions and speculation about the real purpose of the X-37. A spot satellite, a device for delivering weapons from space, a base for testing the electromagnetic microwave engine, M-Drive, the least of what the newspapers have attributed to the X-37. If when you saw the X-37 you thought it was the twin brother of the space shuttle, you were not too far off. With its bullet-shaped form, stubby wings, and monochrome appearance, the X-37B orbital test vehicle truly resembles a smaller, slightly cleaner version of the legendary orbiter that served NASA for decades. The X-37 OTV is a derivative of the same Boeing X-40 on a slightly larger scale, about 120%, more than 29 feet long, only 9 feet 6 inches tall, with two corner tail fins and a launch weight of 11,000 pounds excluding the missile carrier. Its wingspan is also, to put it mildly, not even up to modern fighter, only 14 feet 11 inches. 
An early goal of the XG-37 program was to rendezvous with satellites and perform repairs, and the space plane itself was designed to be launched into orbit in the cargo bay of the space shuttle. Yes, it was literally a mini shuttle within a shuttle. However, after realizing the high cost of such an undertaking, the X-37 was quickly converted to launch using a disposable delta for launch rocket or similar ones. Granted, as a result, it was launched on Atlas V-501 rockets, as well as Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy carriers from the well-known SpaceX. The space planes designed to operate at speeds of up to Mach 25 upon re-entry, and among the OTV's top requirements was a delta V speed of 7,000 miles per hour for orbital maneuvers. While they intended to reduce the insane cost of the X-37B by completely eliminating crews, which meant getting rid of living quarters for them and life support systems, such an unmanned space plane would not only be cheaper but also less risky. After all, if anything goes wrong, there are no people on board to be harmed. And since it was uncrewed, the X-37B could be launched more frequently, stay in space longer, and be operated with far more flexibility than crewed missions. As of today, the U.S. Air Force has conducted at least seven official orbital test vehicle missions, all launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida. And each one lasted longer than the previous one, with mission durations ranging from 224 days in orbit in 2010 to a record 908 days between May 2020 and November 2022. The most recent launch was conducted on December 28, 2023. Details of its payload and orbit remain classified. However, we know for a fact that the X-37B has performed a wide range of tests in space. Some of these include advanced guidance, navigation and control systems, thermal protection systems, avionics, high-temperature structures and seals, reusable insulation, lightweight electromechanical flight systems, and autonomous orbital flight, re-entry and landing. Interestingly, on some missions, the Air Force has admitted to carrying experiments for NASA and even private companies. The X-37B can carry a small payload about the size of a refrigerator and can also deploy microsatellites. While the exact cost of each launch is unknown due to its classified status, it's clear that this space plane has become a vital component of the United States military space infrastructure. And despite the rumors and conspiracy theories, there's no evidence to suggest it has ever carried weapons. However, that doesn't mean the X-37B's capabilities haven't raised concerns abroad. China and Russia have both voiced fears that the space plane could be used for surveillance, satellite capture or even as a space-based weapon delivery system. After all, its ability to maneuver in orbit and stay aloft for extended periods gives it strategic flexibility unlike anything else currently in operation. But while its true purpose remains shrouded in mystery, what's certain is that the X-37B represents a bold step toward reusable, military space operations, a spacefaring drone that flies in orbit and returns to Earth, again and again, with stories it never tells.